the last thing we're going to do is we're going to imagine that we've gone out on our trip we've left the safe watermark all is going well we got to our south cardinal mark then on up to muttonhead east cardinal mark but then on our last leg coming into hinder sound there was a problem with the boat and we broke down for a short period of time let's say 20 minutes in that time we drifted off our course we now need to figure out where we are so we can now get a plot or a heading from our new position back to where we originally started from at the safe water mark at Stronghome. to do this we've taken out our hand bearing compass that we have on our safety pack and we've taken three bearings from our boat to three fixed points the first of our bearings is from our boat to the range head south cardinal mark and it's at a, bear, a bearing of 297 degrees. We're going to take out our Portland plotter, we're going to set it to 297. We're going to lay it down with the course arrow pointing towards the point that we're looking at which in this case again is the south cardinal mark at range head. We're then going to twist the plotter about that point until our grid lines match up the grid lines on the chart. And from there we're going to draw a line Our second bearing is to the lighthouse at Gamp Home, and it's of 75 degrees. So the exact same method again, we're going to set our plot to 75 degrees with the course arrow pointing towards the object that we're looking at, in this case the lighthouse here. We're going to twist the plotter about that point until the lines on the plotter match up with the lines on the chart ensuring that it's at the angle we want and we are then going to draw a line and finally our third point is northeast growths east cardinal mark just here at a heading of a bearing of 225 degrees so again we're going to set our plotter to 225 degrees Again with the course arrow pointing towards the object we're looking at, we're going to pivot the plotter about that point until we get the grid lines on the plotter matching up with the grid lines on the chart. Making sure we're set on the points. And again we're going to draw a line. So here we can see nice and neatly our three lines intersect at one point. So now from this point we can work out a bearing that'll get us or a heading that'll get us back to our original starting position at the safe water mark. To do this we're going to take our plotter, line it up between the two points, put our course arrow pointing the direction in which you want to travel. We're going to spin the wheel on our plotter again to the points directly north, match it up with the grid lines on the chart to make sure it is pointing directly north. Pick up the plotter, pick up the plotter, you can see 289 degrees true. We know from earlier on that our magnetic variation is roughly 5 degrees west. So to get our magnetic heading, we want it to add on our variation because it's westerly. That'll get us 294 degrees magnetic. And our distance then can be easily worked out with our dividers. This line is too long for the dividers to reach the entire length of it. So we're just going to set the dividers to one nautical mile using one minute of latitude at the side of the chart. We're then going to walk along our line one mile, 
two miles shrink dividers down to measure the remainder it comes out to approximately 2.9 nautical miles <laughs>